Hey YouTube, this is my continuation of testing the range mod for the Teeny Whoop. Sorry it's taking me so long to get to this, but been kind of busy getting ready for Christmas. So, uh, I've already done the range mod and everything looks good with it. As you can see, I have my two Teeny Whoops and one with the mod here, as you can see, and the other one without. Um, I already did a preliminary test and it works beautifully, no problems with it. So I'm going to fly it around here and see what kind of response I get with it from first the, the modded one and then the non-modded one. And then I'm going to try each of them with the Tyrannus. That's why I have my Tyrannus here, you can see. And I have it where I can bind to both of them. So. Got my batteries charged and I think I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, YouTube, as you can see, that was an excellent flight. I came back, landed on my dining room table. I went approximately a good 50, 60 feet, went into right around my little room there, come back. No problems whatsoever, other than some bad flying. <laughs> but that's not the that's not the uh, the range fault. I couldn't do that earlier without the mod. So we're gonna try the next one. We're gonna try it with the mod, uh, without the mod, on the on the red one here that we got. And it's the same exact setup as the modded one. So we'll move that out the way. And we're going to try the same flight without the mod at all and see if we can get that same range. So here we go. Okay, YouTube, as you can see, I, after a couple of attempts, I couldn't even make it too far away from me, maybe a good 20 feet, 30 feet, without having some control issues. And that's without the mod. So the mod on this one, by bringing the antenna out, works beautifully with that. And it gives you a lot more range, a lot more controllability. Okay, YouTube, in conclusion, as you can see, with the mod, it works really well. Without the mod, I'm having a little trouble with it. Uh, it doesn't want to fly as far, but it does work. Uh, I think it may be a battery issue, so we'll work on that in the future and make sure we get some good outdoor flights with it and do some even long range flights with it outdoors on a calm day. So stay tuned to a special build that's coming. I got something on order that's coming up real soon that will uh, involve me putting on a new um, camera on a existing or a new quad 
that is kind of a little toy quad, but we're gonna make it a FPV quad to be able to fly around outside in the wind with it. So stay tuned for that. And I do still working on my next build video, next racer build video is gonna be a, probably a, a five inch like the other one, or maybe a three inch, it depends on my mood at the point at the moment, but we're gonna get that out for you. So until then, this is Mayday.